you won't believe what Princess Catherine is about to do with her expensive jewelry. The coronation of King Charles I is scheduled for May 6, and many people are looking forward to seeing what the royals will wear, particularly their expensive jewelry. Hello, welcome to Royal Rhymes. If you're fascinated by royalty and want to stay up to date on the latest news, this is the right channel for you. So, subscribe now to not miss any episodes and stay informed about everything happening in the world of royalty. The royal family has an abundance of Sparkle 77 ING jewelry, some of which are considered priceless due to their historical significance or value. Financial experts have been debating which gems in the royal family's collection are the most expensive, and the imperial state crown is believed to be the most valuable among them. It is estimated to be worth a staggering 5 billion and will be on display at the coronation in Westminster Abbey. The imperial state crown is a magnificent piece of headgear made of gold and adorned with various precious stones, including diamonds, sapphires, emeralds, pearls, and rubies. The crown was originally designed for Queen Victoria in 1838 and was replaced with the current design for King George V.I.'s coronation in 1937. Another expensive item of royal jewelry is the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace, which was last seen on Kate Middleton in 2014. It is estimated to be worth around 66.3 million, making it the second most expensive piece of jewelry in the royal family's collection. In 1947, Princess Elizabeth was given the Nizam of Hyderabad necklace as an engagement gift from Philip Mountbatten. This expensive necklace, containing over 50 diamonds set in platinum, was frequently worn by the princess before she became queen and was even seen on the Princess of Wales in recent years. The Delhi Dobra Emerald Choker, though not as well known, is the third most valuable royal gem, estimated to be worth 16 million. The Delhi Durbar necklace is one of the late queen's most distinguished and priceless possessions, consisting of eight diamonds cut from the Cullinan diamond, which is the largest diamond ever found, and nine emeralds that belonged to Queen Mary's grandmother. Princess Eugenie's tiara, the Greville Emerald Kokoschnik, ranks fourth and was worn by the princess at her wedding in 2018. The tiara, estimated to be worth 10 million, was created by French jeweler Boucherin over 100 years ago and has been a member of the royal family for over 75 years. Once owned by Margaret Greville, the tiara was passed down to the Queen Mother and eventually to Queen Elizabeth in 2018. Princess Eugenie's choice to wear the tiara on her wedding day made it an iconic example of something borrowed. Did you like this video? Then watch this one that is appearing for you, I'm sure you'll like it too and subscribe to the channel to not miss any updates on the royal family. Watch the video now.